I've been looking forward to this hunt for about a month now. Finally, we get the opportunity to come out here to Quadro Kalinas and hunt for pheasants. Now, I don't really know where they're going to be. I've not tried this at all, but I can only assume some of these fields are going to be a good spot to encounter them. And as you guys know, I've been looking for a rare rooster pheasant since Rancho came out, and that's been at this point about a year and a half. So maybe this will finally be the map to do it, and we'll just see how good a map this is for hunting them. And one thing's for sure, this is not what I expected to see, but it is kind of a part of what I think will make this hunt extra interesting. As far as I can recall, since the pop resets that occurred with the Reventuli update, we've only been on Quattro one time, and it was to try to get a diamond with the new at the time, 243 handgun, and we did get a diamond Ibex in the process. That probably means there's a lot of this map we haven't explored, and I think because we are specifically targeting pheasants, we're not going to be by the lakes that often, and most likely are going to be exploring places that we've not been through once since the population reset happened about six months ago. As for the two rabbits we shot though, number one got a good look at the blood spatter animation once again, and both of them were at least potential goals. This one was a silver, about 0.4 shy gold. They look a little bit different to me, I don't know if it's the eyes? It might just be, and maybe some of the old rappers are due for a remodel or getting new textures. Compare them to some of the newer ones, the Eastern Cottontails, or especially the Mountain Hare. They don't quite look as good. That is quite the... <laughs> quite the pose we shot that one in. I don't know why it was doing that after we shot, but... We'll just keep those screenshots for potential emojis or something. I like it. That one did make gold at 5.22 as well, so... Decent start. And hopefully the next class 1 animal we're shooting is a pheasant, but as I mentioned, there's a lot of unexplored territory. Well, the good news is, there seem to be a couple of decent road here around here. And again, because we've not been to some of these areas, it's not a big surprise to see some of that stuff. But we'll go ahead and try to take this guy that goes up to 79 score with the 243. I seem to recall them changing the requirement for diamond. It might still be around 80. But I thought it actually went down some. We'll find out when we claim him and we may have discovered a bit of a problem is it road deer related or map related that's the real question because I noticed those rabbits hung around he's just refusing to go anywhere so we'll shoot him too and we'll pay close attention to that as we go along again the spook radius for gunshots has been increased so there was no good reason he should have hung around to begin with let alone the fact that he was in the fleeing state and just standing there looking as if he was alert. As for the first one, 76 score, not too bad. Diamond is 81.86, so maybe they lowered it and it's still higher than I thought. Even still, this guy's within 5. Left long shot at 208 meters from the 243. And then, unfortunately, we're not going to be able to really learn anything by shooting this one, but I mean, it was just standing there. We might as well get the kill from it. And I think maybe even a shot of gold again. He's 56 scores, so not as big as I thought. Good bit shy of gold. And we will pay close attention as we go along as to whether or not it's a map issue, road gear issue, or what's going on. Because I can't say I've seen it anywhere else. And almost predictably, they are in the fields that are a little tougher to hunt. I don't even know if we can hit that. We may shoot it off the ground just for the sake of it. That'll get him. And I didn't know this, but these types of fields actually aren't marked on the map. So that'll be one thing to pay attention to. I've really never looked that closely at it. Got another rooster coming out of there, a little bit of a bigger one. But, oh, they're all through here. I think that was a hen. I have the 10 gauge, so I would imagine any pheasants we can actually hit are going to be in trouble. But... I, I do think it kind of gives us more ground to hunt than I thought there was. I just didn't realize places like this were just not marked. As for the one that we got with the shotgun, as we have, I think, another hen going by. That is a rooster. The shot did not quite impact. Wait a minute. Those are both... There are a ton of roosters here. Halfway decent shooting would help. We got them that time. Missed that one too. I thought the 10 gauge was going to be a good idea, but 
if we can't hit them, it's really not going to matter what we have. But I do think whatever changed, and that seemed like it came with the New England Mountains update, they flash from further away, so it might not be as simple as just kind of running at them. Now that the smoke's kind of cleared, though, we do have a molting, ended up being a silver, just barely for our first one. I think we did, and we ended up shooting the other one, so we gotta go back and find it. But the actual first one that we shot with the shotgun, I think that was a rooster too. And then we have the one that we shot with the 22. One got away. I mean, there were at least four rooster pheasants all down in here. But again, as I mentioned, only really the one flushed close enough for us to get it. The other two that came past that we shot the last one out of, they had already flushed once and then came back our way. So I'm not really sure what to make of that. But I guess it would have been somewhere up in here. May actually need the dog's help, because I can't remember where that was. I know we didn't claim it. There's one there that I thought was the one that we shot with the 22. We will sort through this and find it out one way or another. That indeed was shot off the ground with the 22 in the head, actually. Definitely did not mean to do that. This is a funny thing with the tail feathers as it's landed. And it must have been like the way the hunting pressure looks. Somewhere in this area, I imagine Sir 12 can locate it. This one is a hen, though. It is possible that we had run closer to the one that we shot with the 22 before I realized it. Because the hunting pressure does look like we only shot three. It's hard to say exactly why it happens, but I kind of get the feeling it's the lack of cover. Like, these fields are massive, and there's really nowhere to go. So they probably, rather than fleeing and going to hide, they would just sort of flush and worry about hiding maybe after they land. That is why I wanted the 10 gauge though. Because they do seem to flush from further, that little bit of extra power when we're taking a long shot like that should sort of aid in getting them down quickly with a marginal hit. But 20 minutes and four pheasant kills in. I do think this might be a pretty decent pheasant map. Finally got a gold made it by 0 .01. A 65 meter single pellet hit. A little far back, but that's not too surprising trying to get that lead correct. Not a bad deal. I still don't know that it's going to be exactly easy on this map. Again, one thing is that the fields they seem to hide in aren't marked. I'm not sure why, but these ones as well, you can see on the map, if we use the new binocular feature and mark that, there's nothing there. At least it doesn't look to be a field. So you almost have to be in the area to know whether or not there are fields that they seem to like to hide in. But there's no lack of them, at least so far. It's been pretty interesting so far. We had those couple of fields down in the sort of center east. Since then, we've not had a single pheasant track, warning call, or anything like that. We do, though, in this field, have a pretty good sized wild boar. And we've got the 4570 all camoed up here today, so I wanted to get the opportunity to use that. And I think that is a perfect chance to fire the weapon. So. I'm not sure how I feel about the scope with it. It looks quite nice, I think, without the scope. Having the scope on there, it's got that big side mount, and it covers a lot of the camouflage. So I may end up going with a different pattern for this. I thought it was going to work, but unless I ran it open sights, probably not what I wanted to go for. As for our boar, though, right long at 120 meters, 117 score for him. I think, isn't the estimate 186 to 240? Basically bare minimum to be a max wood estimate board, but at least that'll be a little respawn there, which depending on the results of this pheasant hunt from here on out may or may not be important. We may be here a lot chasing pheasants, we may not. Now this is a little more encouraging. Also out in the cut straw fields, you can get them. And finally we get one that kind of doesn't take off from forever away. I think we hit that. Second shot will confirm we can take it down. And by the way, this is the Quattro Cleanest net camo we have on the 10 gauge, just to fit with the map. But I do like that. That gives me a little more optimism, because that was one of the reasons I was so encouraged with pheasants being added to Quattro. Is that potential to maybe spot a maybe rare pheasant from far away, which some of that is possible on Rancho, but since they got moved around, it became a lot less likely, I think. And on top of that, you have the Bobcats on Rancho, which sometimes just spooked the pheasants before you would even get there. That did appear to be a solo rooster, but 
I'm liking what I'm seeing so far. They're not just everywhere, but if you're spending time around the fields, you seem to run into them relatively consistently. These fields specifically, though, do seem to be quite good. Now, fair chance there's not going to be cover and heal flush before we get to him. So we'll keep the shotgun in hand and just kind of keep moving in that direction. Saw him for a second there. Another kind of low end level 2. We've not seen a max word estimate or even a kind of high score estimate. Looks to be maybe a molting again, though. I can't quite tell. Lighting is a little bit odd, but that'll drop him. We are, by the way, on the track of a max word estimate wild boar. I was going to say again, but we didn't really track the first one. This guy is indeed molting and a silver once again. We've not had really any decent ones, but the numbers are there. and I think that's kind of the more important thing. We're not looking for a giant rooster pheasant by any stretch and looking for a rare. I'd love a gold, but that kind of becomes more about numbers than size. And unfortunately, again, we've got a level four wild boar. This one does have a much better score estimate. Gonna be tough, I think, with the 4570 to get a vital. We may have. Health was dropping relatively quickly, and I don't think there's any chance of a level 4 wild boar making diamond. I believe feral pigs can, and they are scored on the same scale. But wild boar are a base game species. They've been here from the very beginning, and I can't recall ever seeing that anywhere in the community. Regardless, he's dead right there. Looking like maybe two intestine shots, though. Or even intestine and non-vital. That's... Kind of impressive for the 4570 to get him down that fast. A 129 score is solid. Still 15 shy of diamond and unfortunately wouldn't have been a diamond even if he had the high enough score since we didn't make the shot. But good to get him down another decent size one. And you know, apparently it doesn't matter what we're chasing. We're kicking him out of the fields. Now, kind of as expected, it's getting tougher to find pheasants as we get well beyond their feed time. And you would expect them to leave the fields and rest maybe in the trees or... I don't really know where. I thought maybe some of the little groves that you have like along this lake, uh, I think there were some in maybe it was these fields. It's really sort of short trees and stuff that I thought would make good resting area for pheasants. And that's not to say it wouldn't realistically, but I haven't seen a single pheasant in those areas. So I'm just not quite sure where to find them next, but I don't want to only reset back to their feed time over and over and over again. That was a decent rabbit as we continue through here, but I'd like to be able to have an idea of where to go at any time on Quattro. So we're going to continue just forward from here and see if we can find some resting somewhere. Well, that's kind of good news. Hard to say if that's the one that we have to track of. And we're not that far away from the fields, which I find interesting. Because that was the approach I went with to begin with. Just like trying to find areas near the fields. I have no idea. If we can get that. He acted hit, so I think we'll end up getting him despite the sort of blind shot. Just shooting at the outline there and the weight on the spotting estimate. And the fur type there would match the tracks. That was the right one. So I would assume, even though I didn't see a actual zone from it, that he probably was resting right there. I like that. That it's not too far away from the fields. I just find it interesting we didn't run into more of that as we began looking, because I do think this is going to be our last harvest of the day. So fingers crossed we at least end up with another gold. And we still ended up shooting, or let's even say shooting and seeing, quite a number of rooster pheasants. There were two or, th two or three that got away in that first field. I don't know how many we ended up getting, and there were a number of tracks and stuff that we didn't pursue in 18.14. That's a little bit better. Not a bad size there. So maybe a good omen going forward to whenever our next hunt out here on Quattro may be. I think we can maybe work with that, hunting the edge of the fields when we get into their rest time. Maybe we were just too far away. It's hard to say. I'm, we're back into the fields where we did get a couple. And definitely looks like the northwest and sort of the east center of the map are some of the better areas, at least that we encountered today, as we looked for pheasants. And I do think... It's going to be a decent map for him. We just have to figure out the best places to go after him. But anyway, that is officially going to do it for this video. So as always, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you next time.